Hey there kids, I thought I would do a bonus video for the lesson 15 homework. Uh, this is in module two and the objective is still the same, solve two step word problems involving measurement conversions. Normally I just do the problem set, but word problems are just so hard for kids. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and set these up and you guys can uh, obviously try to do it on your own, but if you need a little help, check with the video. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Tia cut a four meter, eight centimeter wire into 10 equal pieces. Marta cut a 540 centimeter wire into nine equal pieces. How much longer is one of Marta's wires than one of Tia's? So again, we're gonna be using these tape diagrams to help us kind of see what we have and what we don't have, and it can help give us the numbers that we need sometimes. So let's make a picture for Tia and Marta. So we'll just do T and M. It doesn't matter if you put them here or stacked here. And uh, Tia has four meters, eight centimeters, and 10 pieces. So make a tape diagram, split it in half, and put five on each side. One, two, three, four, five. Five in the next. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you have 10. Count the boxes. Uh, and this whole thing is four meters eight centimeters, which we can't leave things with mixed amounts when we're doing calculations. So much easier just to convert it all to one. And, uh, and centimeters, the smaller unit is always gonna be easier. Um, well, generally speaking, if you have a mixed unit, it'll be easier. So Marta cut uh, the 540 into nine equal pieces. So we're gonna have three sections of three, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost exactly, but a little bit off. That's okay. Let's pretend they are perfectly the same. And hers is 540 centimeters. So we can be very precise with this. We can always convert it later. So how do I figure out how much one of them is? Because this is what I need to know. And sometimes when you look at the picture, it will give you a clue as to what to do. So taking the four meters and the eight centimeters, I wanna make this exact, kinda of like this is, I wanna make it exact. So how many centimeters are in a meter? And you might be uh, remembering that uh, one meter equals 100 centimeters. And so if you have four meters, that's gonna be times four. So if the four meters is 400 centimeters, just add on the eight, so that equals 408 centimeters. So you can label it and then we can work with this. Now that I know that this is 408 centimeters, I can take that and I can find out the size of each one by doing what? I'm gonna divide it into 10 parts. So it's 408 divided by 10. Now it's a whole number divided by 10, which means it's gonna be a one, but a shift of the decimal. So you should end up with 40.8 for each one centimeters, okay? Or 40 and 8 tenths for each piece. And what we need is we need the length of each piece because we're trying to figure out each one and compare them. Now here we have, let's move over to Marta, and she's got a 540 centimeter uh, wire. But hers is only in nine pieces, so we're gonna take that 540 and we're gonna divide it by nine. Now this is a, this 54 is a factor of nine. By what? Nine times six. Don't forget, that zero. So each piece of Marta's is then 60 centimeters. So now I'm gonna take my 60 and I can find the difference, what they want. Right here when you see the word longer, you're finding the difference. So it's 60 minus 40.8. Now, we haven't done subtraction with decimals in a while, so don't forget. You have to line up the decimal. Where's the decimal in 60? It's right here. Now what do I do here? You cannot just go, eight minus zero, no, 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 no. I get so annoyed when people do that. I'm like, you can't do that. Put the zero here. 
make your subtraction and get it ready to borrow and regroup, borrow and regroup. There's nothing here to pull from. I need to take eight away from something. Go get something. Take one and give 10. But remember, when you go over zeros, it won't help you here. So take one again and give 10 here. When you subtract over zeros, the middle ones usually end up as a nine. Just telling you, shortcut there. Anyway, now we finally have 10 on the end. 10 minus eight is two. Decimal down. Nine minus zero is nine. And five minus four is one. And so the difference between one of these and one of these is 19 and 2 tenths centimeters. So we have to label um, <clears throat> Marta's, Marta's wire uh, is 19 and 2 tenths centimeters longer. And I need to say each. Each of Marta's wires is. Each is. Not are. Each of Marta's wires is. 19 and 2 tenths centimeters longer. Okay, so there you go. Kind of challenging with those tape diagrams, but uh, they can really help you see what's happening. Let's do another one. And these problems are all pretty challenging. Jay needs 19 quarts. First of all, we're using quartz. More paint for the outside of his barn than for the inside. If he uses 107 quarts in all, how many gallons of paint, now they changed the unit, will be used to paint just the inside of the barn? So let's make a tape diagram so we can compare the outside to the inside and look at the total amount of paint we have. So if I have the outside and the inside, in, out. Uh, we're going to compare, we have 19 quarts more for the outside. So I've got mystery amount on the in and 19 quarts more for the outside than the inside. The total of these two is 107 quarts in all. So if you want to know what this is, remember like in the problem set, if you take the total and subtract the extra. Take off that extra piece right away. Take uh, seven minus nine, you can't do it. So you're gonna go try to get something here, nothing there. Take one, give 10, nothing is here. I still have my problem. Take one and give 10. 17 minus nine is eight, nine minus one is eight. So I have 88 quarts uh, in one section or in each section. Uh, sorry, not in each, but 88 quarts that are left for these two, for two sections. So I need to find out how much is in one because we're talking about the inside of the barn. So then just 88 divided by two sections makes 44 quarts per section. Now we've got an answer here, 44. And if that question mark is bothering you, just erase it. 44 quarts and 44 quarts. Okay, now go back to the question and see what is being asked of you. Uh, we have to find out how many gallons of paint will be used to paint the inside of the barn. I know that there are 44 quarts, but I don't know how many gallons that is. So now it becomes a conversion question. So take your 44 times one of the old and then change it. I need that conversion factor here. What is one quart when compared to a gallon? Well, there are four quarts in a gallon. So one quart is one fourth of a gallon. Now you can multiply across 44 times one is 44 and put this over one to get one times four is four and I suddenly have a very easy division problem, 44 divided by four equals 11 gallons for the inside. Okay, and that is what the question is asking. So a little bit challenging here. I hope this is helpful. As always, click subscribe, come back.
try to entertain you with these math videos. All right, number three, string A is 35 centimeters long. String B is five times as long as string A. This is gonna be really helpful right here. Both are necessary to create a decorative bottle. For Find the total length of string needed for 17 decorative bottles. Express your answer in meters. So if you take string A at 35 centimeters and then string B is five times as long. Here's one, two, three, four, five. But both are necessary to create the bottle. So I, I need all this. Then what is the total string that I need for one bottle? And how can you figure that out? So how many squares are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you take the 35 and you multiply it by six, you can find the total amount in centimeters of string needed for one bottle. So start out with that. Six times five is 30. Six times three, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's gonna be centimeters for one bottle. Okay, then that's not the final question. Uh, it says find the total length of string needed for 17 bottles. So we'll take our 210 and we'll multiply it by 17. Let's use the standard algorithm. Seven times zero, zero. Seven times one, seven. Seven times two is 14. Hold this spot with the zero because we're done with the ones. Move to the tens place. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. One times two is two. And that makes sense because one times 210 should be 210, but it's actually 10 times 210. So we need the 2100. Add these up, zero, seven, five, and three. And so what did we find the amount of? That's centimeters for 17 bottles. Is that what they asked? No, of course. They said express your answer in meters. So now we're gonna take our 3570 centimeters and say, hmm, how many meters is that? So it's a conversion again. Now you, I know you guys are getting the hang of it and you're saying, I know what to do, I know what to do. It's so exciting. Times one centimeter, make that conversion. What is one centimeter? when compared with a meter. It's one one hundredth of a meter. So I need one one hundredth of this amount. So it's a two position shift, look at the two zeros, and the decimal being previously here would have a new location there and a new label. So 35 and 70 hundredths meters uh, of string is needed for 17 bottles. Okay, woohoo, getting the answers. On these hard questions, definitely difficult. Okay, I hope this is helpful. And oh, this, huh, I remember reading this the first time when I was teaching with this new program. <laughs> I was totally stumped. I'm like, how are we supposed to solve these? I don't get it. Oh my God, such a struggle. Anyway, now I know how to do it. <laughs> what a nightmare though, right? So let's read it. A pineapple is seven times as heavy as an orange. The pineapple also weighs 870 grams more than the orange. What is the total weight in grams for the pineapple and the orange? So I... Uh, you can't, okay, we were joking about this a lot, and it was like, who cares? I don't know, take it to the store, just eat it, cut it up. And we had all kinds of jokes about it. But anyway, <clears throat> let's solve it. A pineapple is seven times as heavy as an orange. Here's the orange, here's the pineapple. Here's the orange with one, here's the pineapple, seven times as heavy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this tape diagram is <clears throat> that kind of missing piece that that me like that I would need in order to solve it and like I just can't quite get there but now you know now you know how to solve these so if a pineapple is seven times as heavy as an orange and the pineapple also weighs this much more but only the more is going to be 870 grams right here then what is the total weight in grams 
for both. Now, you'll say, well, I don't know how many, there's nothing to work with. But you really do have something to work with because I'm not gonna count these, but I, I do have these right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces. So if I take my six pieces and I split or share evenly the 870 grams, use standard algorithm and divide. Eight divided by six, I can fit one six in there, using up six with two left over. That's less, so move on. 27 divided by six. If I had four sixes, I would use 24 of those grams, and then I would have three left, and look how convenient this is. 30 divided by six is five. Five times six is 30. Finish it out, don't leave that 30 there. Get to the zero. So it's 145 grams in each of these pieces. And if one of them has 145, then they all have 145. So what is the total weight in grams for the pineapple and the orange, then we have to just take the 145 and multiply by all the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So take your 145, multiply by eight, and now nobody has to cry about these word problems, which is what I would have been doing when I was 10. Eight times five is 40. Eight times four is 32, plus four is 36. And then eight times one is eight, nine, 10, 11. And that's gonna be 1,160 grams for both the orange and the pineapple. And nobody has to cry because we solved it. But we're not done. <laughs> there's more, but wait, there's more. Express the total weight of the pineapple and orange in kilograms. Let's just take that 1160 grams and say, huh, what is it in kilograms? So use the conversion chart. 1160 times one gram is true. That's 1160. Take that number, copy it again, make the change. What is one gram, this is in the units place, when compared with kilograms? It's one one thousandth. You can use one one thousandth or you can use decimals like we have been. One one thousandth. Either way, this is the new unit. And then we're going to have a shift of three positions because from grams to kilograms, it is three place value positions. So with the shift, one, two, three, 1.16, you can leave it like that or you can put a zero, it's okay, it's equivalent. There go the lights because it's saying, go home, go home and have a nice evening. Anyway, put your new label here and then label it the total weight total weight is bum, 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 one and sixteen hundredths kilograms or one and one hundred sixty thousandths kilograms. It's all the same. It's equivalent. So I super hope these videos are helpful. Come back, click subscribe, come back again, and we'll see you really soon. Bye for now.